This is Z. Z is a Cocker Spaniel, and Z is here for an annual exam. Included in that annual exam is his physical exam by the doctor, a heartworm test, which also we test for Ehrlichia and Lyme disease, which are tick-borne diseases, and we test his stool for intestinal parasites. And then we vaccinate them for appropriate vaccinations that they are due for. So we are going to draw for a heartworm test, and we just need three drops of blood, and we usually go from their leg, their cephalic veins, The chest is actually testing for antibodies within the blood. So we gotta wait for the well to fill up. And then once we do, we snap it. It takes about eight to 10 minutes for the results. Um, you'll get a positive control. And then we're ready for the doctor's exam. We're going to do an annual exam. Well, this is a Z, a little Cocker Spaniel, six years and nine months. Um, came into us today, and you, you know, we just kind of note what we're going to do once a year for him. Um, seems like a pretty good little dog here, and I always approach them kind of slowly, make sure they're not going to bite me. You don't know if they do, so they're going to tell you whether they're going to bite you if you watch their ears and their tail and just how they look at you. So be cautious in approaching any animal, of course. Um, so we'll talk real fast. We'll kind of what we do with our exam. We we'll go from head to tail try to go to every systems, every system and make sure it's normal. I do the same exam, I've done it for 23 years, so that's probably 20,000 exams. So we'll kind of, we'll just kind of uh, approach this thing the way I do. So, um, you know, making sure that his nose is normal. Here's a good dog. You know, there, there's air coming out both nostrils. There's no discharge, no swelling. You're looking at his eyes. You can kind of see if you can kind of come a little closer here. Hey? Um, you look at his eye here. You see this is a third eyelid. See that little bump right there? It's called a cherry eye. And they're, they're actually called, it's a nictitans flap, so he has a prolapse nictitans. And um, it's kind of, it's a normal abnormal. We can fix this by tacking it down. Doesn't seem to be bothering this dog, like causing conjunctivitis or irritation. So that's an abnormality. We can maybe note that in a future video, so if, just for the shortness here. The other eye, opportunistically, can you get it close on that one? You see the cataract there? You know, cataract in um, uh, Latin means waterfall, and you can kind of see that that little uh, hazing of the lens on that side. I mean, ha yeah, hazing of the lens. You can see the little cataract. Cataract surgery can be done to fix that. There definitely is going to be a little bit of reduced vision. See how I'm doing this? Watch my hand. See, he's blinking without wind touching his eyes, so he he definitely has vision but he might have a little better vision in this eye because this one he's looking through a shower door if you will so again we'll know cataracts a little bit later so let's see how his teeth look and I'd say ugh <laughs> you see the tartar build up on those um, on these this is all calculus the big plug of you know calcium and bacteria on his teeth and if we leave these alone he'll get gingivitis see how there's a little gum recession on this bottom if we don't clean those teeth we're potentially gonna have to remove that tooth good dog good boy um, this side may be a little bit better but you see you know, same thing. We got a lot of tartar on those teeth as well. So he definitely can use a, a dental. So, so far we can fix his eye, fix, take his cataract, fix his prolapse, uh, nick the tans, and do a dental on. So that's just his head. <laughs> See how, well the cockers have a lot of ear problems. Um, and the way I kind of do it, I just kind of put my nose down there. It's kind of gross, but if he doesn't have a lot of odor, it's certainly, grab my otoscope please, right over there. Um, I'm going to look down in his ear. He's had ear infections before, and a lot of cockers do, a lot of spaniels do anyway. It's not just because they have long ears, they have a lot of allergies, food allergy and pollen allergy. His ears actually look pretty good today. There's not a lot of odor in him. He's not shaking his head. He's not painful when I'm manipulating his ear. So that's nice. Um, they may just do some flushing on there to try to keep those clean and clean and dry. So that's good. Hey, honey. So let's look at him from above here. It's kind of, if you can kind of flash in from above. I always kind of like, I like to get them standing, but I want to see if they're overweight or normal weight, okay? I put my hands in on the ribs and see if I can feel the ribs, and I can on him. Um, if he's standing up, hopefully he has a little tuck in his abdomen. You want to stand up? It's okay, Hi, buddy. Baby. All right, so let's see how he looks here. You think he's overweight? Let him put your hand go here. 
So no, I think he's good. See, I have a little tuck here. I can feel his ribs, and he's, you know, he's, he's good weight. Really important for him. So next thing I'm doing, I'm just putting my fingers on his femoral pulses, and they feel nice and normal. So he's got good pulses here. This is like on the inside of his thighs, kind of like, you know, getting our pulse off our wrists. So listen to his heart here. Yeah, so he ha actually has a little murmur. Here's another, you know, real quick thing. A lot of dogs have murmurs. We're not worried about them necessarily. We follow them along. And it's, it's his mitral valve, which is on his left side. We're hearing that, re that regurgitant flow when his valve closed. The fluid runs back through it. So you hear that venturic effect. So that's what that murmur is, a swishing sound. So. You know, once again, we'll do a video later on that, but it can lead to congestive heart failure later in life. Um, it may be benign. It may never cause them a problem. It could be cardiomyopathy. It could have heartworms. Uh, mostly, they just have valve deficiencies, and it generally does not cause any problems until a little later in life. His coat looks really good. I don't, you know, see any hair loss. You know, it's kind of it's um, smooth and glossy, which is nice. You know, that's good. I don't, you know, if I push back his hair, I don't find any fleas on him or irritation. So I think. You know, of course, you always kind of look under their tails, kind of gross, but to make sure that everything is normal back there and palpate all his other parts and they're good. I flex and extend all his joints, make sure he's not, you know, lame or limping. I'll get him out in the parking lot and run him up and down, make sure he's not limping on something. Make sure he's looking at his toes and toenails, make sure he doesn't have any gross in there and they're, they're, they're actually good, si you know, good length. Long toenails can lead to lameness and, you know, disfigurement of their, their ankle and their, and their little um, joints and their toes as well. You know, when I'm kind of falling back here in his abdomen, we're making sure that his abdomen feels normal. I don't feel any masses in his abdomen. Sometimes I'll we'll push my hand in here and feel a you know, big spleen or a bladder problem or you know, a big kidney. His right kidney's right here and his left kidney's right here. The back of his liver is here and his spleen is sitting right here. They're all normal in your bladder. His bladder is normal as well, so that's nice that, he, that he's not painful. He has normal organs. So, that's a quick, real quick exam. We certainly have a lot more thought of it, but I want to do a short video for you. Head to tail, found abnormalities. Just a, you know, he's got that third eyelid prolapse. He got the cataracts. He's got gingivitis. You know, a little chronic ear thing going on. Not so bad today, and a heart murmur. So I'm gonna type this all out on a report and give it to the owner. Thank.